Hey, what's up? We're back in the land of Skyrim. So we are we are back in the magical, wonderful land of Skyrim, and we are fighting some Draugrs. So at the moment, it's less magical, wonderful, and more terrifying. But we definitely have had our experience with killing Draugrs, so it's not the end. And we're doing so on behalf of a cultist belonging to the cult of the Daedric Prince of Pestilence. Namira? Pick on my buddy. Pick on my buddy guy. Thank you very much. I'm glad I, I'm, I'm glad that you feel better. Let's see. I'm having a little trouble hearing the sound. I wonder if my volume is set properly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. That should come in a little bit clearer. <laughs> Shock spells deplete targets magicka. I did not know. Good to know. So I, I didn't realize that they were just th types of elemental damage. There might be benefits to depending what elemental damage that you cast. I was thinking in terms of like electrical. If you attack people when they're in water and you cast electrical, it's effective. Or if you cast fire on frost or frost on fire. But I didn't think about like it, some of the magics apparently drain. Magicka, which is interesting. Um, oh, why not switch it up a little bit? I know Chain Lightning will duel. It's be expensive, and it doesn't seem to... At least it attacks multiple people at once, but... Fool me. That's what I thought. Ah. Apparently the zapping was pretty effective. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so it also is friendly fire, so I might not want to cast chain lightning so much. We have a partner. Um, I should have seen that coming. All right. Good points of shock damage to health and half to magicka. Um. Or take extra damage. That's usually why my fireball is my go to. This seems to get the job done quicker. It's 
against that. <laughs> I know uh, ice can slow people down, but it just seems like doing the maximum amount of damage and getting it resolving the enemy without giving them a chance to retaliate is like the best strategy, in my opinion. I, sometimes I'll change it up, though. If it's like a fire thing, I'll use ice. I don't usually use electricity, though. Oh, those shouts are brutal. So grumpy. It's like grumpy pants. Indeed. He good knock. Indeed. Um. There's our guy. That's how he wants to do it. Oh my gosh. All right. I got the dead. Um, Andrew, what a powerful wizard we would have been if we just used magic and magic upgrades and all our other level ups for the other quests. Oh my gosh. Maybe you should try electricity with this guy. Maybe it would make a difference. Silly. Dream. I don't know if he 
necessarily want to do that. Might uh, seal our exit. Um. All right. Okay. You ready? Let's do it. <laughs> no way. Still kicking. Okay, that's probably what the problem was. Man, how many of these guys are there? Diddly diddly do no 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 Be nice to me and I'll be nice to you uh, it's about to burp in my face here, I have a feeling. Oh Yikes. Says I cleared him. So misleading. Get a pretty awesome ebony sword out of it. Yeah, what is this fiendish torture device? I'm guessing that has something to do with uh, Namira, Lady of Death and Pestilence, the Lady of Decay. Lila and Al Alila. Hmm. If there should be way back out here that I happen to traverse the whole dungeon. This is very fiendish though. I think we should take a nap. Take it like a nap right here. Be very comfy.
Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's good to kill Draugrs, but I don't know if we should be helping Namir or not. That might be a bad decision. Let's see how it goes. We gotta speak to Eola, not Elia. The most famous hero of Skyrim is Hyper Septum. Who's Imperial conquered? So the greatest Imperial uh, emperors. We meet him in uh, Oblivion. Um, I don't think that's where I wanted to go. Reach cliff, reach water. A lot of reaches here. Reach cliff, clay, cave. There we go. Got to pay attention to the arrows pointing. Pointy arrows. She already in, the, in there. I'm guessing. I'm gonna go all the way back through this. Must have missed her somehow. It says to go in there, and I'm not seeing her anywhere. So methinks she be back in the main chamber, methinks. So I'm going to assume to go this direction. So there's no arrow indicating. So maybe not, but... Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey. Done it. The shrine is ours again. I know that's a good thing, but to prepare a grand feast to welcome you to Namira's coven. You will have the honor of bringing a fresh kill for the main course, and I know the perfect person. A priest filled with the taste of an easy life, Brother Verilus from Markarth. Give him this gold. Tell him you need Arcae's help exploring an old cavern for treasure. And when he stands in Amira's presence, she will take care of the rest. Say hello to Verilus for me. She's cold. She is a cold itch. Yikes. Suppose I should pick up some fava beans while I'm out and about. Kind of spice up the dish a little bit. All right, Shadow Mary, let's get the heck out of here. Questions are they gonna give us the option to let them in on it and be like, hey, there's like some evil Daedric cannibal ghoul Namera worshippers that are trying to eat you for dinner.
Wee. 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 Citizen. Citizen? Or, yeah, citizen. Citizen soldier? Citizen guard? Um. Think you can barter with me like I'm one of those bad shop I wonder. Oh, from the oh, the one dude that sent us in there in the first place. Ah, she's cold. Just wants permanent. She's just using us for permanent access to the Hall of the Dead. Now the question is: Do they eat the living or the dead? That's the question. Are they ghouls or vampires? I've done the vampire thing. Seems like Draugr's are ghouls, so I don't know why. And they're super decayed. So I don't, I don't know why exactly Nermina would object. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since you've had a good bet. Well, I only gotten one brawl in my life. And that was for the fighter skill. Um, and don't ask me about thievery, because I'm part of the thieves guild. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I just go home and play Parcheesi. I don't... I don't do anything. I'm boring. Super boring. Um... I think that's the Hall of the Dead over there. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm innocent! Hall of the Dead. The Dead. The Dead. Ooh. Ooh. Um, we just received Arcade's blessing too. And I feel guilty. Even the dead need company. That's what Arcade. You are looking for Arcade's protection while you delve some dank tomb, I take it? My duties keep me busy in Markarth. I don't know if I can help you. <sighs> Should we do this, guys? That's no small amount of coin, friend. <laughs> I suppose I can come with you for a short venture. Lead on. That's so bad. The jingle coin is the universal language in Skyrim. There's no way I could do this. It's like... Jingle, jingle, jangle. It's a beautiful design. Markarth is just such a cool, like, concept for a city, like, just building a city in Dwarven Ruins, and super cool. Can't believe we're doing this. But I need to know. I need to know. It's too morbid to not know. Maybe we can, like, once we get there, we can put an end to it and, like, keep them from dying, maybe. I'll be three against however many. Dude. 
dude. Should we just get the jump on him? I don't want to, like, partake in some evil ritual. Even if it means getting a Daedric weapon. Let's just, let's snipe him out. At least now we have three against. Ah! Sorry, Namira. What? What happened? What? What happened? Get this close to being food. Breath of Arke. Were these the cannibals that were plaguing the Hall of the Dead? I need to get back to Markarth. Here, take this. It's the least I can do for saving my life. Wow. So, you gave us our, our gold back. We gave him a lot of gold. I don't know. So, so, it looks sweet rolls and cheese wedges look enticing, but it seems uh, kind of a Painted place. Is he just gonna chill up there? <laughs> okay. Guess he was pretty emotionally scarred, but at least we saved him. Yes. Yeah. Namira, no, uh, no treat for you now. Although, like I said, it would be interesting just for the sake of just seeing what the different side quests have to offer. It'd be pretty cool to uh, um, do the play the game again and then do like a mostly evil route where now we're we're not like good, we're not like good, but we're like trying to make like semi moral decisions and like not make really evil decisions. So like, it'd be kind of neat to go back there and do like. Maybe like a total goody two shoes like paladin playthrough, and like maybe like a, a really evil necromancer playthrough or something where we're just like doing all the like the bad things or all the good things. But yeah, we're just kind of right now we're just kind of trying to teeter totter between um, making good decisions and making some morally ambiguous decisions versus any evil decisions. This. Just, I'm gonna put this as like the cover of like my video, so it looks like super grim, like we did him in. But yeah, like we actually saved his life. So silent. So creepy. Yeah. It's a good angle, the for the title card. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, what do you guys think of the title cards for the videos? Do you think that's an improvement? It's the same. Um, kind of gives you a little preview about what the video is about. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and save, we're going to save it there. All right, gang. Until next time in the land of Skyrim.